Hello, this is Mario from Odeon. In this video, we will showcase the new features in Odeon 17. For features that are exclusive to certain Odeon editions, we will display the editions at the top right corner of the video. The new version of our SketchUp plugin, SU2 Odeon 3, is now able to import Odeon geometry files into SketchUp. The advantage of going through Odeon rather than directly from other CAD software to SketchUp is that making the geometry compatible with SketchUp involves simplifying the geometry, such as joining surfaces and flattening warp surfaces. So, you can simplify geometries by running them through this process. Also, this means that you can take a geometry that was imported into Odeon from any CAD software, import it to SketchUp to edit or correct it, then re-import it back into Odeon. All of this without losing most of your Odeon setup, such as sources, receivers, and materials. From within Odeon, you can access our repository of Odeon zip archives, which contain room geometry, anechoic recordings, and set up to directly calculate a multi-source aralization. One of our new features is the Material Calculator, where you can manually define layers of materials, such as porous or perforated layers, and Odeon will calculate the absorption curve of the full stack. Odeon now performs surface clustering. This means that if there are coplanar adjacent surfaces, but they have the same material, Odeon will treat the group of surfaces as a single continuous surface, avoiding unwanted scattering at the edges. Then, this would have the same effect as configuring the surfaces as fractional, except that now it is done automatically, so long as the surfaces are in the same plane, are adjacent, and have the same material. The sound power estimation allows you to estimate the power of sources, using real SPL measurements as reference. When defining sources with directivity files which contain the loudspeaker cabinet drawing, Odeon will now display the loudspeaker cabinet. This is only for visual purposes and will not affect ray tracing. For CLF files, this would be included in the file itself. For cabinet drawings intended for ES3 and 4, you should copy all the loudspeaker files into the Directivities folder. When defining sources and receivers, you can place them anywhere on the blue grid, not only on the intersections. You can do this with Ctrl Shift Click. When tabulating sources or receivers and selecting to keep their relative height, it was typical to have to adjust the drop height parameter. Odeon now performs a new algorithm which ensures that the new sources are inside the model. The drop height now only needs to be adjusted when there are multiple floors. Now you can toggle sources in the job list by directly clicking them in the 3D view. You can also toggle receivers in the same way in a multi-point response. In the Aralization Expert, there is a new Link Signal Files to Sources button, which renames the sources according to the assigned WAV file. Importing a source receiver script now allows placing sources and receivers outside of the room. While you wouldn't want to leave them there, this allows you to import a group of sources and receivers without altering the arrangement. The source macro has been renamed to Source Group Editor for Clarity and has new functions available. 
it now allows for the rotation and translation of point sources using reference points. Additionally, different sections can be collapsed to avoid clutter. Together, these features allow you to take a multi-source aralization in one room and transfer it to any other room. For example, you could transfer the multi-source aralization in any of the zip archives to your own room. We have a video explaining the process in detail. Calculation speed has been enhanced in this version. Point responses can now be up to 20% faster and calculations with array sources can be up to 40% faster by storing directivities in a cache, additional to the previously mentioned 20%. There are a couple of updates to the room setup. The first is that there is now a quick estimate icon, just like the one in the materialist. When using the quick estimate within the room setup, an appropriate impulse response length will be entered automatically. The second is a parameter called ray loss allowed, which is the maximum percentage of rays allowed to be lost before aborting the calculation. This used to be internally coded and fixed at 20%. For calculating outdoor acoustics, you can simply set this to 100%. So, you no longer need to define a bounding box. In the multipoint response, now you can define target curves in the Measured versus Simulated tab. So, this tab has been renamed to also mention these target curves. The 3D Direct Sound Display now has an arrival time parameter, which uses a reversed color scale in order to correspond to the SPL map. In the grid response, you can zoom the color scale, allowing you to reduce the scale range without having to go into the room acoustic parameter list. There are also new options for measurements you can normalize your measured impulse response to a target temperature and relative humidity, which can impact parameters such as T30. This makes it more feasible to compare simulations against measurements. First, you should define your target conditions. If no room is loaded, these are defined in Program Setup, Measurement Setup, If a room is loaded, the target conditions used will be the ones in the room setup, air conditions. Then, here, you would enter the actual temperature and humidity of the room at the time of measurement. The results will then be normalized to the applicable target conditions, depending on whether a room is loaded or not. You can apply inverse filters to the output and input in order to neutralize your equipment's frequency response. Audion includes the necessary tools to create such filters. G and SPL are hidden by default if no valid calibration file is selected, which can help avoid taking note of invalid values. This setting can be changed in the program setup. Odeon has a new audio effect, which is amplitude modulation. OpenGL now handles rotation differently depending on whether you're inside or outside the model. When inside, the rotation is around the current camera position. When outside, the rotation is around the center of the model, much like the wireframe in the 3D view. You can now customize interface colors, which is useful if you prefer some colors over others or are partly colorblind. You can read more about these features by going to our website odeon.dk Product 
What's new? We hope you enjoy these new features in Orion 17.